Hi, I'm Sean O'Meara, and I'm a 59-year-old emergency medicine physician from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Now, I am specializing in health and performance optimization. Why health and performance optimization? Well, that's the purpose of this video, and I'm begging you to please give me 15, 20 minutes of your life that's going to potentially so dramatically improve your life better than anything else I've ever learned in my entire 59 years. And maybe just save your life even. This video is free. You won't find a click on it that says click below or buy anything else or I'm referring to anything else. I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. Thank the person who sent this to you. It's all free. I'm just gonna share this insight and somebody values you enough to send this to you, they want your life to improve. And it just starts with an awareness and insight in what I figured out in my journey as a physician. So I want to tell you my story. My story began as an ER physician after graduating from medical school and doing four years in emergency medicine residency through the, the U.S. Army. I'm still active duty in the Minnesota Army's, Army National Guard today. And after doing all that training, about 15 years later, I'm an overweight, fat, out of shape, disease physician, worsening along the way, just like all my patients do. Have you ever noticed that? Patients, the longer they go to physicians, they worsen. Why is it that people worsen? They just continue to get worse. And the physicians right along with them. It doesn't have to be that way. And that's the purpose of this video. So besides being overweight, I had arthritis, joint disease, clogged arteries, arteries, restless leg syndrome, benign prostatic hypertrophy, a swollen prostate that would get me up four to five times a night to pee. When I would pee during the day, it dribbled out of me. It would no longer shoot like it did when I was a teenager. It just dribbles and I wet myself. Horrible, terrible existence. I had gastroesophageal reflux disease so bad that I'd have to be scoped every three months because I had a condition called Barrett's with pre-cancerous lesions and they had to keep going down and biopsy me to see if I had developed cancer yet. It was just a nightmare to live through that. And I also had erectile dysfunction and uh, just a horrible existence of chronic back pain that just riddled my life so bad. My back pain was the worst I've ever seen as emergency medicine physician. It was so bad, so painful for three days I collapsed my lungs because I couldn't breathe. My lungs collapsed. That's bad back pain. Today, none of it. I haven't had any more back pain. No more joint pain. No more restless leg syndrome. I pee like a teenager again. All, all of my conditions went away. How is that possible? I'm going to tell you how they went away. Because you are not going to hear this through your physician or the current system out there. You're getting this because somebody recognized that you're a leader and you need to know about this because it's going to start from the top down in every organization to model this because the rest of the system is interfering. I want to ask you a question. The first thing to solve a problem is to, uh, to measure it if you want something to improve. What would you measure to improve your health? Would it be your weight? your blood pressure, your cholesterol, the things your doctor tells you about. How's that working out for you? Have you ever met one person or ever heard about anybody who got their cholesterol under control, which is what the doctors were trained like crazy to do? Why? Because it's the biggest, most profitable class of medication ever discuss, discovered in the history of humanity. But have you ever met anybody who did get their cholesterol under control and they said, changed my life? everything improved, I'm going to tell you something that will absolutely change your life, that you need to measure, and it's a metric that you just have never measured before. And that's the purpose of this video. It's a secret insight that you're going to learn. So please stay with this video the whole way through. Give me 15 to 20 minutes to explain this to you so you can begin changing your life and dramatically improve and separate yourself from the rest of humanity, which has continued to worsen. I do not believe our ancestors worsened. They got better. They would have had to. You can do that too.
You're only getting worse because you don't know about this and the system won't tell you about it. So the biggest problem we're gonna discuss is humanity's biggest problem. I used to say it was chronic disease because nothing costs us more money, nothing ruins more lives, nothing reduces human productivity more, nothing do we spend more money on trying to solve, waste in a complete way, and nothing kills more people than chronic disease. Until yesterday, I had this insight. The chronic disease, that's not the biggest problem, that's downstream to the biggest problem. Way upstream is what happens that you need to be aware of way before you get chronic disease and to be aware of if you have chronic disease to solve that chronic disease and get rid of it, at least improve it, if not make it go completely the way like it did in my case. So that's what I'm gonna be telling you about. So it's a measure, it's a metric. And what is it that we're gonna measure? It's a type of fat that's inside of you that physicians are not trained about. Can you imagine that? It's probably the single largest thing in your abdomen, inside your abdomen, you do not know about it, and physicians aren't trained in it. It is constantly pumping out inflammatory molecules 24 hours a day, destroying your health, your appearance, your performance, your quality of life, and maybe even the length of your life. That's right, maybe it will even kill you because every form of chronic disease that I, we study for the National Science Foundation for in 6,000 people either went completely away or got better when we followed this metric and, and got rid of it. And what is that type of fat, that metric? It's visceral fat. And I could go on and on about it, it doesn't matter. You need to go to Google and read about visceral fat, comma, dangerous, visceral fat, comma, harmful, and read about it. Because if I tell you about it, it's not gonna mean anything. But when you do it, it's like, if I tell you dogs can bite you and they're really bad, but you go to Google and you look at a dog, all dog maulings, now you've got insight. So do this yourself and find out. But I'm gonna explain some things in this video. So we're gonna talk about visceral fat and how, how it affects you. First of all, where it is, we scan through the level of the abdomen, okay? It produces this image here. On an MRI, fat is white, muscle is black, okay? So this is fat and so is this. We paint it red here to distinguish it from other type of fat. So the fat on the outside is the fat you know about yourself, subcutaneous fat. Not a problem, it's benign. This stuff in the middle is deadly. This is what is causing, uh, this is humanity's biggest problem. It is your biggest problem. The problem is you don't know about it. You don't know how bad it is and you don't know how much is inside of you unless you get a scan. Out of sight, out of mind. It's not in your mind. It's not on your radar scope because you've never seen it. You've got to see it. Don't get a number. You've got to see it. Look at the enemy. This red stuff in here is destroying everything that's good about you. So we're going to take a look. First of all, what is a good abdomen amount of visceral fat? What is a bad one? Good. Look at this shape. Oval shape. Okay. That was you. When you were a young man or woman in the teenage years, early 20s, you had that oval shape. To you, unless you were diseased and lived with diseased parents who gave you too much food, the wrong kind of food, and we're going to get into that, then you look more like this. But chances are today you look more like this than you do like this if we scan you. If, we, if you lift up your abdomen, does your belly stick out? Do you have a protruding abdomen? That's happened to you because of visceral fat. This guy has very little visceral fat, but big muscles. This guy has a ton of visceral fat. He also has a lot of fat on the outside. But see how small those muscles are? Because he has sarcopenia. Another scourge going on. It's chronic disease. Your muscles literally waste away as you get older. It doesn't have to be that way. 80-year-olds should stand tall and look good. But because of visceral fat, it's destroying their muscles. And nobody's doing a darn thing about it. They're not warning people when it shows up and scans CTs and, of the abdomen and MRIs Nobody is warned about sarcopenia that's going on. Here's a really bad scan. This guy was, had some of the most amount of visceral fat I've ever seen, teeny tiny muscles. And when I showed him good scans and bad scans, and I showed him his scan and he knew what, 
what a good scam was and what a bad scam was. And I showed him this one. He was standing up and he literally passed out. That's why you got to see this. You got to see the enemy inside of you because you are, chances are, have been deceived and you think you're healthy and you're filled with disease. And this is why, because this metric was never taught to you. It's not taught in medical schools. It's not taught in res radiology programs where radiologists should read it and report it. But I'm going to tell you what you got to do to get rid of it, okay? So the first step, you got to change how you eat. You just got to eat clean, whole foods, food and whole form. So you cannot eat any processed foods. Processed foods make the highest amount of profit in the food industry. And they're tasty and they cause disease way more when the other, other things don't cause disease. So natural food should not cause disease, but processed foods really cause disease. So let's take a look as you need to understand how detrimental. This scan needs to be shared in every health class, every school in America. It should be in every medical school in America. Talk to them, but it's not. It should be in every physician's office in America to be shared with patients, but it's not. And if you're watching this and at the end of this video, you want to help me out, get a hold of the person who shared this with me and thank them for sending this video. And look for opportunities to help promote awareness of this incredibly deadly substance inside your body that's harming you. So in the scan here, first one, this person is filled. Look at how much they're filled with visceral fat inside, right? And you see the red streak in their muscle there? That's because this fat goes to the process that causes also causes fat within your muscles. And it's called human marbling. We'll show you that. But from here to here to here to here to here is 35 weeks. So he goes from this big belly sticking out, big wide, see that huge distance there, to a much smaller distance here with the dramatic reduction in visceral fat. He also, he developed a six pack in the meantime. The interesting thing, the only thing he did was he cut out processed foods. He didn't do anything else. This 68 year old guy just stopped eating processed foods and he saw what happened. And as a result, he completely changed his life, completely changed his diet and stopped eating processed foods ever because of how much change had happened to him. But without this MRI to see this, he never could see that. Now you know why you cannot eat processed foods. So that's an important study and I, I need to have that in all school, help get every, every, every school room needs to be aware of that. Here's a runner, okay, marathoning. You know, this, this person is filled with very skinny person on the outside, but they're filled with visceral fat on the inside. So let's let's look at um, how you how running can change your you know exercise can change your visceral fat. Okay, so this this 58 year old guy is filled with visceral fat here, and two months later he has no visceral fat. What did he do? He was running 10 miles a day, five days a week, 50 miles a week in total here, and we got him to stop and simply start sprinting. So he did six sprints a day instead of uh, um, for five days instead of distance running. So he saved a huge amount of time. And look at the dramatic change in his visceral fat and he grew muscle. Literally grew muscle. I had asked this guy if he was taking anabolic steroids. He was a 58 year old guy because he grew so much muscle from sprinting. It is that beneficial. This running crazy distance running is, is, uh, is, is deceiving people. You just get, sh you shrink your muscles. Well, you hold on to visceral fat. You want to get rid of visceral fat and grow your muscle. And that's what happens when you start sprinting. Well, let's look at a comparison between visceral fat, large amounts, and what happens in those muscles in the legs of these people. This is a patient filled with visceral fat. Look at his legs, all those white streaks. You can zoom in on that, hopefully in, your, in this video. And look at all these white streaks, fatty infiltrates. It's called myosteatosis being deposited within the muscles. Radiologists see it, don't report it. It's accumulating in your legs. You're going to have it. Human marbling. Nobody says anything about it. Do you know what they call these two scans here? This guy is the best scan I've ever seen. This and, and the legs. They, they're both called normal. I don't want to worry about normal. Tell me what's wrong with me and tell me what's good with me and how me to get better. That's the problem with the American medical system. They're not telling you what really, they just call it normal. They tell you about what's bad that they can make some scratch off, some money. You wanna know what you need to change to improve your life and improve your health. 
And that's what we need to retrain physicians on. The big pharmaceutical industry, it sets the curriculum in medical schools and they have all of the doctors reading studies as normal and disease they can make money off and do drugs. They don't have a drug to change this because this is lifestyle. And when you change your life, no more chronic disease and no more money for big pharma. And so those curriculums are sent by medical school and needs to change. So this is the best scan I've ever seen. Remember I told you darkest mus uh, muscles are dark? This guy's literally wall-to-wall -wall muscle. His visceral fat, that little thing looks like Idaho right there. He had the least amount of visceral fat I've ever seen. The most amount of muscles. This is the best abdominal exam I've seen in my medical career. And look at his muscles in his legs. Pure, no fatty infiltrates. Huge difference between these two. So bad, good. Well, let's take a look at what good looks like. This is... Um, Emmanuel Matai from St. Paul, Minnesota. He's an Olympic sprinter. He gave me permission to show his images, like all these images in here, permission. He got all this muscle from just sprinting. He never lifted weights. He didn't do push-ups and pull-ups here in this photograph. This was just from sprinting. So doing the right kind of exercise, maximum intensive exercise, not chronic durational distance running, is what you need to optimize your muscle and get rid of bad fat inside. So. That's the second lesson, how to get rid of visceral fat. First one is get rid of processed foods. Second one, do maximum intensity exercise like sprinting or push-ups and pull-ups to exhaustion and no more chronic exercise. Well, let's look at that other guy, the bad exam, bad abdominal exam, big belly sticking out. And then five months later, look how much he changed from applying these principles. So you can change that much too and even more uh, by following that. Remember the fatty infiltrates with the muscle? It happens to steak. This, would, this is, you know, they tell you it's good, it's mar marbling and steak. No, it's, that's, that's a diseased animal. You don't want to eat, you want to, you want to eat an animal that's fed what it's supposed to be feeding, which is grass. Grass helps an animal stay healthy. Grains and antibiotics and all that stuff to build this stuff in here. Uh, you've been sold that that's tasty. I can't stand it anymore. I want to eat 100% grass fed. This, this steak here is diseased and I know it. It's just they got you convinced that, you know, have, you know, uh, heaven is hell and hell is heaven. It's just complete opposite insanity. So the other thing he changes in the 68-year-old guy got rid of all the visceral fat over 35 weeks. He got away, got rid of his heart fat, this big chunk of inflammatory fat around his heart. And But now instead of 35 weeks, this is just at week 13. Look how much dramatically he's reduced that chunk of fat, highly inflammatory fat around his heart. in just that short period of time, again, not exercising one minute, just by cutting out processed foods. This is my favorite scan of all time. Please pay attention. These are arteries in the brain. After scanning 6,000 people, everybody was reporting their intelligence was getting better, their memory was improving, they were getting smarter, they could solve problems, they weren't making mistakes at work. And they kept asking, why do you get, when you get rid of physical fat, does that happen? And we just kept pushing away. But the last 30 patients, we couldn't stand anymore. We started scanning brains to see if we could figure out what was going on. And because and we were singularly focused on visceral fat, guess what we found? Clogged arteries. But it wasn't just the clogged arteries, we found them opening up. That's what is causing this tremendous change. So here are the arteries coming up, and you see right there that blue plaque right there that is causing a blockage of the blood flow and the distal furthest point out in that artery. It's not as much good blood flow. And look right here. You can't even see blood present in this particular spot in this middle cerebral artery and circled here in white. Nine months later, after doing maximum intensity exercise, cutting out processed foods, doing, doing some other things, a sauna and cold shower, and, and there are other things you can do. But um, I don't have time to go on to it, but processed foods, maximum intensity exercise, that's all you got to do right now. Opened up that artery there and opened that one up. Nine months. You ever seen anything like that? Doctors can't even believe. They don't even believe this. I put it on the internet, they don't believe it. You know why? Because primary care doctors and neurologists and everybody else treating clogged arteries will just give you cholesterol medicine. And that plaque stays right, that block is right here, just stays right there. Nothing changes. You just keep becoming a good, loyal customer for big pharma and big medicine and big healthcare and big health insurance. It's ridiculous. You need to change your life by being aware of this metric, visceral fat, so you can completely stop that. Now, I mentioned how visceral fat causes inflammation throughout the body. I mean all over the body, not just all these the things that I've shown you about. 
but including the outside of your body, how you look. This is me, age 48. Do you see that face? You have your health expressed in your face. That's why people are attractive. It's the level of health that they are. Very attractive models are very healthy. And then as we, we age, we get more disease because of visceral fat and we get these big inflamed faces. So when I got rid of my visceral fat, by the way, I weigh less here. I weigh more today. Look at how much better my face. I don't even look. Do you think this is the same person? People tell me that that's not. Well, I'll tell you that was me. Even my niece didn't think that was me. No, that was me. That's how I lived. Visceral fat. Filling me, changing my face. You get rid of that visceral fat and you improve that much. I have other people say that surgery. Oh, a plastic surgeon told one of my patients that he had plastic surgery. No, I did not. But thank you very much for that compliment. Now I know for sure that medicine is completely off. It's all nature. It's doing the right thing. Getting rid of visceral fat. So let's look at... That was the body, let's, or the face, so let's look at the body, okay? My wife hates this photograph. She said, never show it to anybody. So now I show it to everybody because it's such a big difference. You see that belly sticking out there? That's sticking out there from the influence of visceral fat. Not so much because it's pushing out my abdomen, but because it's destroyed all my muscles. See those lunch lady arms? And do you see how my muscles can't hold me up? I've got a crooked spine like this. Like old people have this spine because of visceral fat is destroyed their ability of their muscles to hold them up straight. They don't want to look like that. They just can't straighten out because their muscles are, are too weak to keep them straight. But look what happened to me as I got rid of that visceral fat. My skeletal muscle completely straight. Do you know I got soldiers I give this lecture to and they don't like, oh, that's just because you're staying up straight. No young guy. You're going to look just like this when you're old if you do not learn from this lesson. Getting rid of visceral fat. Just look at everybody in your church and older people around you. They're hunched over. And most of them will have belly sticking out or a little bit of a pooch. So you've got to get rid of that visceral fat to stand up tall and look good. The natural state of an 89-year-old should be straight and erect if they've never accumulated visceral fat or they get rid of it. So that's what I'm trying to tell you about. But let's look at some other changes. Look how much my head changed even. The appearance of my face dramatically improved. And remember that those arteries that opened up? Look at those brilliant vascular structures now forming on my hands that I did not have before. And I developed all this hair on my abdomen, a tremendous improvement in my appearance. The dad bod is nothing more from the, than the influence of visceral fat weakening your muscles. It just says, I have weak muscles. I am a weak individual because I have weakened muscles. Now, you might be able to lift weights and, and correcting your arms and stuff like that, but good luck with that. If you got this visceral fat accumulating, it's going to all be gone, and you're just going to be a has-been. Like most bodybuilders look like crap when they get older because they never learned about visceral fat. They just learn about the muscle on the outside instead of the deadly fat inside. It's the invisible obesity, radioactive fat that's busy 24 hours a day, destroying your beautiful, healthy cells and tissue all over your body. Now here's probably more an abdomen, more like you. This is a very good friend of me, of mine, from the Army National Guard. Look at his abdomen sticking out in his 30s. He's already got this. So you need to be aware of that and see that visceral fat is causing that weakening of your, of your abdominal muscles and your muscles all over. But you do not have to worsen. This was me five years ago, okay? I wasn't in terrible shape here at age 54, but look how much better shape I am here. Because once you start eating properly and exercising properly and learning what you got to do, then you can dramatically change your life, dramatically change your body. The natural state of humanity is not to worsen, but to improve. And we can do that if we make the right decisions. I did not take steroids here. I did not do hormones, no testosterone. I just live properly. I got rid of my visceral fat, and then nature improved me that much. I know, I know it might be hard for people to believe, but I'm telling you the truth. Now, here's me, 30 years old, and here's me, 48. So I gradually accumulated visceral fat, worsening my face. And get out your old photographs, and look at what happened to your face. Don't believe me. Go and look at your photographs. You're getting worse. All of everybody in your life is getting worse, unless they found out about visceral fat. And then, look what happens. They get better. Getting rid of that metric that Big Pharma 
and organized healthcare and food industry, everybody does not want you to know about. And I'm giving it away free in this video just for you to be aware of. Look how much my legs improved. Three times hair growth, 300% increase in my hair. Look at my one patient here, huge big dad bod, giant abdomen sticking out. He goes from here to here, three months. Focusing on visceral fat, cutting out processed foods, and doing maximum intensity exercise and a few other things. But that's two things I want you to know about, get started on, and you can have that in three months and, and continue to sustain you. But let's look at what happened on the inside, okay? In his uh, MRI of his abdomen, filled with visceral fat, remember all the white um, uh, visceral fat in the middle? And he goes from here to here to here. Three months, okay? The power of the MRI, seeing the enemy, looking at the enemy inside of you. And it's not just his visceral fat, but that heart fat, big chunk of fat around his heart, now shrinking away in those three months. So you want to get that skin inside and look at the change in his face that he had in three months as well. Big, big change, much better blood flow, redder lips from that increased blood flow. So the purpose of this video was to share and, and let you know humanity's biggest problem is not chronic disease. It's, it's, a, it's visceral fat inside of you that ends up causing all this chronic disease downstream, destroying more lives, destroying American productivity, and costing us more money. It's the third part, it's 33% of our GDP is attributed to taking care of chronic disease. And it's, it's increasing more. That cost is increasing more than our GDP. So we're, we are bankrupt and nobody's talking about this until we solve this problem. So this kills more people than anything else, and you probably never even heard about it. So I want you to, to thank the person who shared this video with you because they cared enough to get this to you. And um, I, you are a leader, you're an influencer if you're getting this video. And I want you to adopt and understand getting rid of visceral fat, share it with the, your lieutenants and your staff underneath you, get them to do the same thing and improve their appearance so they look better they perform better because the one thing we found in those 6,000 people that got rid of visceral fat is across the board, they got better in everything, not just one thing. So if you're already doing great things, you'll do greater things by getting rid of visceral fat. Well, thank you very much for staying with me through this whole video. If you appreciate this video and you're somebody that wants to help America get, get better, under, become aware of this, Thank the person who sent this video to you, get in touch with them, and I, I would like to talk to you. So thank you very much, and we'll see you another time, hopefully, uh, in the future.